Welcome back. So one of the things that people talk about with unit testing is that it's easy to read what's going on in the code and you as a new developer can sit down and try and read the tests and actually from that get the specifications of the actual solution you're looking at. So let's try and do that this lesson. Let's try and jump in. I'm going to start testing this area right here in the next couple of lessons. Now what I want to need is what I want to start out with is just figuring out um, this first test right here and it pretty much says there should only be one on ordered list, right? And again, what I want to show you guys is if you start understanding testing, you can really easily read the code and understand specifications for the program you're writing right now. And that means in my case, I look at this code right here and it says there should only be one on ordered list, right? So I'll start by getting all the on ordered list items and then I'm just asking there should only be one, right, in that list. So that pretty much just means when I go to the HTML, I only expect to see one on ordered list item, and that's right there. That's the only one in there. If I try to put in a second one because, I don't know, by mistake I thought there should be a second one, uh, I put in this guy, I'll save it, now one test will fail. Now, this is the power of coding, because right away I'll get instant feedback just by putting in that line, and I shouldn't even put it in there, because I just read in the spec right here, very easily that should there should only be one on our list. It's a specification. It's something that the developer or sorry, the owner of this program asked me to build. The customer asked me to say, you need an on our list. Maybe he didn't say that, but I know he needs it to kind of get a list of items, right? So let's have a look at the second test right here. Should show no list items. Hmm, that sounds weird because I want to show list items. It seems that I need a list item for each product in my test, right? Or sorry, in my in my view, right? So I need for each of the products available, I want to show a list item. Well, that's not the case because if this guy is empty, if there are no products available, which there aren't as default, that makes sense. When there are no products available, it shouldn't show any list items. So let's add this. When no products are available, right? And why are there no products available? Well, that's because, again, if you scroll to the bottom, our dummy product service down here returns a blank list of products or an empty list of products, right? So that makes sense too. So now I've already made two simple tests. The first one just tests that there should be an on ordered list. The second one tests that there are no list items when there are no products available. And again, I just pretty much say, are there any list items? I expect there shouldn't be any at all. Okay, so that was two simple tests. Great fun, very easy way to start testing our actual setup right here. So that's just ended right here. And we just tested that this guy exists and they don't exist when there are no products in the list. Next lesson, we'll try and dive deeper when we start having products, what should actually happen. See you next time, have fun.